There's no power, right? No. Lots of clover grown in there. What is that? It's, yeah, it's, uh, uh, crimson? Clover, I was just yeah. going to say it's crimson. And there should be rye in there. And then there's an awful lot of garlic mustard, I think. Seems to be a Let's lot see. of that everywhere this Let's year. See it? The little, little fine stuff? Is that what that is? I think so. I have a field that's got that in it. Okay, guys. This here's the... Uh, refined version of the fence lifter Okay, if you remember right, in the first video I did with the fence lifter, I had a piece of square tube on this lip welded on where you had to slide it down off the box. I wanted to be able to remove this box and use it as a bat latch or spring gate release. And then this here you see splits into two sections. We can break it down, throw it in the back of our gator, and we don't have to worry about busting our electronic pieces. So we just take that, I have two pins, slide in there and actually I should be doing it on this side. Now I had the I have two of the pins with the little ball bearing in the end with the spring and I, or I guess it would be a, a detent latch and they don't work as well as these here do. These here are a lot smoother, a lot easier to use. Now this here is the completed box. So you can manually release that hook our it's set now we've cleaned cleaned this all up inside here looks a lot better um, it's completely waterproof all the bolts are sealed with silicone there's an o-ring in here to, to seal on the quarter inch pin um, we've we've done a lot of cleanup work on it let's go ahead and give it a shot here and see if it will even actually work I'm gonna do it manually there's a lock an automatic lock on the timer So it just lifts the fence up, livestock can move underneath. The one thing that I like about this setup versus the bat latch is a lot quicker to set up. Yeah. You just stick a post in the ground and once everything's all set up and whatnot, you stick a post in the ground less than a minute, you're set up and you're, you're good to go. And another thing that I like about it with the bat latch, you have like a 10 or 15 foot opening. What do we got here, 40 feet? So if you're lose, moving a large group of cattle, this here I think is the way to go. And I'm pretty sure that that's, that's high enough for what, about nine feet? I can't see. Yeah. It's at about nine feet. Now, you, of course, you can adjust that to whatever you need. I mean, you can make it so it's a lot lower. You can make it to a little bit higher. I have it pretty much shortened down here. You can probably make it another nine inches higher i suppose now if you needed one to go 12 feet higher something you know i can custom build that for you that's not a problem but i don't see what the need would be for that so there's that guys just an update on that i actually i have the the spring gate or the the bat latch type set up i have 10 of these available for sale right now 
if anybody's interested I don't have this here per perfected yet um, although it's working very well I don't think I don't think there's many changes that are really going to be needed so um, you know it may pretty much stay the same but I don't actually have any of those built, built yet but if you're interested in just a spring gate release hit me up um, we'll get you fixed up they're gonna be around the $200 mark I have to finish figuring all my hours and my the lay, the money that I have invested in each one of these it's gonna be in the $200 mark which is far less than what a fat latch is it's relatively simple for the most part there's parts in there that you can replace by hand if they go bad on you the locking mechanism in here is rated for 500,000 trips or 500,000 cycles so that shouldn't be a problem um, we have a limit control switch which is really really cheap you know dollar 95 or something like that and then of course the timer the timer we can set for any specific day of the week we can set it to go off at the same time every day of the week um, let's just kind of go through here once it's locked so I gotta unlock it to unlock it you push this button four times now it's on let's go to program we can program our time there's 17 settings I believe but we can set the day, the week, for a whole week. We can set it for, we can set it for just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We can set it for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thursday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, just Saturday and Sunday. Let's say um, you just, you're going to be away for the weekend. You want to set it so it trips on Saturday. And you're going to have somebody come in. They can re just reset it for you and it will trip again on Sunday um, and then we can just do Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday or Saturday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday or Friday and add Saturday on that and you can add Sunday on that so you know it you have a, a broad range of settings that you can use to to have this thing trip um, Let's see how many cycles there is. I think there's 17 different settings that we can use. Nope, there's just 16 different settings, which is more than plenty for what our needs are as, as producers.